What's going on YouTube? One Alien XRM here. Today is a special day because we're replacing these hideous, hideous factory levers and replacing them with these fantastic TWM levers that Miami Manny at Moto Million supplied for me. They got to me pretty quick despite everything going on, which makes me very happy. Not only that, they look great and they're gonna function wonderfully on this bike. My biggest annoyance with the clutch has always been, this is how far out it sticks. I, I can't stand that. I, it's always a reach and it's just weird to me. Some people might ask why I stuck with the standard size and didn't get shorties. I personally just don't like shorty uh, levers. I, I like having the full range. But a, a few things straight away that I noticed, uh, there's a bolt right here that you have to take out and there's a line that's kind of in the way. Uh, the other thing is, uh, I know that I've seen that this, the clutch cable needs to be adjusted all the way in so it creates the slack so you can pull the pin out from the bottom. Uh, what I recommend doing when you have something like that is you wanna mark those lines there uh, so you know how far to adjust your clutch. Again, you're gonna feel you're gonna feel just the free play right there. You kinda wanna keep that same gap. But if you get a reference mark and you make it on and count how many threads you have, you're gonna be able to get back to pretty close to what you had originally. So I recommend doing that before you start taking it apart. Now the other thing you can do, which I hadn't planned on doing, but I think I'm just going to anyways, is you break this little bolt loose and it'll spin your clutch lever up and it'll give you space underneath so it makes room so you don't hit this uh, cable that comes out of your throttle so that's probably the next uh, idea just because I don't want to damage anything so you break this loose worst case I can go back to the dealers and I can have them torque it to the proper spec um, I'm obviously going to tighten it to uh, good and tight <laughs> as you can see maybe I don't know let's get some light on there it doesn't take a lot of movement uh, from your clutch to give it space under there just kind of loosen that bolt up and you can rotate this up a little bit so there you go now you have clearance to get to that bolt for the pin that holds the clutch on And just like that, one-handed you saw, I got the everything out. I don't recommend doing it one-handed, but uh, hey, it works. Comes out really easy, drops down, real simple. Not a ton of fuss. Pretty straight, it's pretty straightforward, not too bad to do. Definitely something you can do on your own. Now, let's see if I can do a time lapse of me putting it back in one-handed, because that's gonna be a feat. <laughs> So something very important that you gotta think about is there's a centerpiece to this. And if you forget to do it, like I almost did, you go to mount it and you realize you have a shit ton of play in your lever. So when you swap out levers, remember to take the center bushing out of the factory lever. All right, so after we tighten uh this bolt down here down, which such a perch or whatnot. And you tighten this guy down under here. Uh, they're pretty much set to go. Again, I made my mark. You can't see it anymore, kind of rubbed off, but it's pretty close to where it was uh, to begin with. Now, the bolt that's down here, that is a 10 millimeter. And to release this, that is a nine millimeter bolt. So just kind of a little food for thought. So let's go on, I'm blinding everybody. Let's go on to the brake lever and uh, have some fun with that. Look who came to help me. What about you? You gonna help me? Huh? What about you, Odin? You give me a hand? Huh? You give me a hand? No? Hand me some tools? You gonna hand me some tools? Like I can get your way. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. He can be my second check to make sure I'm doing it right. Oh, so anyways, uh, wife came through, got me some cracks so I can finish this arduous install. Oh, look, I can look at uh, TWM levers for the installation on YouTube. Imagine that. You can go to YouTube 
for videos on how to install. Weird. Huh. <laughs> So that little bolt comes out the bottom, but top is actually an Allen key, so that also needs to be unscrewed. So we'll get to doing that. You see that right there? So this is actually probably the trickiest part of doing this lever is the boot, which I'm blinding everything. Uh, because it's very flimsy, obviously if you push on it, it'll, it'll push in on itself. Um, you can use needle nose, I just be very careful with them because you can tear this boot. Uh, so what I did was line up in the hole and just kind of work it in and then use the needle nose just very gently to pull the boot back over this piece here. And it makes your life a lot easier. Uh, unfortunately I wasn't able to record it, I needed both hands and I couldn't mount the camera the way I needed to. So. Yeah, just be very careful with how you work this, the boot. Otherwise, it'll rip and then you just cause a big old pain in the neck for yourself. So unlike the clutch lever where you had to take the bushing out of the factory one and put it into the new one, uh, the brake lever already has one uh, bushing in it. So you don't actually need to swap anything around. You just got to line up that little hole there with your little brake plunger there. And then uh, tie everything down, tighten everything down, and then it'll be ready to go. What do you think, Days? Does it look better? She's like, no, Daddy. That scares me. I want to be on camera. I'm too young to be on camera. So I'm going to sit on my brother. Well, this is a pretty straightforward install. Nothing crazy, nothing too hard. Uh, like I said, the trickiest part about this was that little boot there, but again stuff you can overcome this little bolt here is a four millimeter hex uh, so keep that in mind tin on the bottom four millimeter up top and it's adjusted to where i want it it's got a good feel to it and there you go rc4 1100 factory with new twm levers all done in the comfort of my own home because it's hot as shit outside <laughs> So, I hope you guys liked this install and learned something from it, and I know I did. And uh, with that, you all have a good one. I'm out.